and welcome back to Hardcore Forever with SRJ26. I am going in. I have done a little bit of work and as you can see I've got a whole bunch of wood and uh, torches and all kinds of stuff that I thought would be really boring for you guys to have to watch me go accumulate. So I am going to make a few things that I'm going to need and I've decided that I really, 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 really need to move this base because it's ridiculous to run across that whole big old grassy plain to get back when the sun starts going down. It, it's kind of silly. But for now, I have some stuff to make and you'll see in a moment what that would be. So just bear with me. I'm gonna make a bunch of fence posts and the reason I'm making fence posts is quite simply because I really really don't want mobs landing on my head. No mobs on my head. Mobs on my head not so good. So I'm going to make fences to surround, let me move that back in here, there we go, okay, and there we go, okay, I'm going to make fences to surround the area where I'm working, and you will be able to hopefully not see me die quite so much, and almost there, one, two, three, four. And we'll call that enough. All right. And let's see what time it is. Hey, it looks like dark. I mean, uh, day. Okie dokie. So we're going to... Oh, it's a sheep. I've put in a pressure plate, so when I enter and leave, the door shuts behind me. So I'm doing little things to try to make, uh, make it a little bit better and safer. I have cleared off this pathway so that I... I'm less likely to accidentally fall into the ravine because falling in the ravine would be poor. And I have cleared the uh, the work area just a little bit. Not a lot, uh, but I've worked it down a little bit. Uh, I had a few minor discoveries. I discovered some uh, four blocks of iron ore, my first iron ore in this hardcore world, and I discovered some coal. So, uh, I hope you guys aren't too sad to have missed that. It wasn't that exciting, trust me. And I put down some dirt up here in preparation. Let me just scan. Nothing doing good. Okay. Oh, okay. So, let's actually... Forgot that I did this here. All right. It's riveting, I know. Okay. Boom. There's one side. I can no longer fall in. But honestly, it's not really about me falling in. It's about me being able to work down there and not have monsters uh, jumping on my head. That's, that's really the big point, uh, because that would be poor. Let me just clear this side a little bit. It's funny. I've noticed that you can drop down a block of... Oops. Uh, drop down a block of dirt. And if you drop it down on on um not on sand, if you drop it down on top of grass, it used to just sort of show up on top of the grass. And now, as you can see, you can drop it down and it doesn't do that anymore. It's kind of strange. I mean, I, I guess I like it, but it's kind of strange. I like that. Boom. See. 
it used to be that you drop a block down like that and the block would be floating on top of oh well that one double hit but isn't that strange okay and let me put down my fences and I wonder if I miscalculated actually I think I didn't take into account that but that doesn't matter it's, something's going to be better than nothing here All right, so that's the start. Uh, I'll get some more later at some point. Okay, so you can see I've been working a little bit. So the water's gonna come in from there and work, go across this, down, across this, down, and then here we'll have another set. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and over here, one, two, three. Now, where will the water go, you're wondering? The water will go right there. So we'll actually have a walkway that goes across over where the water is. And I have cleared all the way down to there. And we can actually get a good view in here of what is going on in our lovely little ravine. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to get all the way down to the bottom. It's definitely not going to go down that low. But you can see we're going to go a ways lower. And it'll involve a lot of digging, and it'll be boring. So I'm not going to be doing it all uh, on screen. Uh, on you know, I'm I'm going to tape it in case anything dramatic happens. But I'm I'm going to spare you guys the the sordid details. Um, but basically, we're looking at um, just get these guys. There we go. There, one, two, three, like that. And then over here, one, two, three, like that. And then, again, we're just going to dig steps out all the way down. So it's going to be a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. You guys are going to love it. It's awesome. Uh, I've playtested this in, in creative, and it, it works out pretty well. OK, so the big question is, do I move my base over here and not have to run back and forth, or do I run back and forth for now until I have this dug out? What I was thinking of doing was having this flow all the crops all the way down, and then have them basically drop into the 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 onto the roof of my base, and my base will be right down here somewhere. I don't know why I planned this so far in advance, but um. I'm going to have to put something up on that ledge so that nothing comes around, because I'm sure we've got mobs around here somewhere. Um, I actually saw a creeper down there before. Um, but I wanted to give you an idea as to what's going on. Uh, that's what we've got so far, and next time you see it, it may be a little bit deeper uh, with any luck. Um, uh, on a completely unrelated and side note, I guess I'm going to put up some um, some more dirt here because I don't want this to be flatter. Uh, in addition to collecting logs, I also collected uh, a real uh, huge amount of seedling seedlings, and um, I'm probably going to switch my video from this computer over to my laptop and the reason is that I'm still having video problems. Um, the screen occasionally goes black. It just did twice for each time about, well not too long, but long enough that it is not fun <laughs> and hardcore. Um, and so I'm probably going to switch my video over to the laptop at some point and that will work a lot better in that I will not have heart failure. <laughs> Um, okay, on a side note, I was just about to say, uh, my wife and I, my lovely wife and I, went out for our, uh, what is it, 16th anniversary? Sun's going down, I'm heading back. We went out for our 16th anniversary, and we uh, went out to dinner, and we went to see Cabin in the Woods with Joss Whedon. And if you have any taste for horror films at all, you should go see it, because it is freaking amazing. 
Um, I cannot tell you anything about it because that would even yeah I can't tell you anything like talking about it at all practically is, is going to take stuff away so it is a really really neat film um, although you have to have some taste for horror uh, if you don't like horror films at all then uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't go but it's really neat and very unconventional and surprising so anyway I think that is my update for tonight uh, I'm going to go to bed and hopefully next time I show you progress, I will have dug out a little bit more of our uh, step farm. And uh, we'll get on with exploring that ravine because I'm dying to know what's down there. So thank you for watching, and uh, have a good night, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye.